This is CPX1, Introduction to the Online Catechism Series of Pope St. Pius X. Hello, my name is Father David Nix, and I'm a diocesan hermit here in the Archdiocese of Denver. You may have seen some of my writings or podcasts at Padre Peregrino or pilgrimpriest.org. You may have heard some of my sermons on census fidelium, where you might be watching this now. This is CPX1. I'll explain what that means in a minute. Please join me for an Our Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, this is a series called The Catechism of Pope St. Pius X. Those first three letters right there are CPX. So this is CPX1, the only introduction that we're going to have. And CPX2 is going to jump right into our first one. I'll be teaching the catechism three times a week for just 10 minutes, and we'll cover that whole short catechism of Pope St. Pius X in just one year. The other series I'm doing on my podcast, you may have already seen the introductions to those. It's also uh, every other day, just like this one but I'm going to be teaching gospel mental prayer. I'll tell you a little bit about that towards the end of this video. But first, let me tell you about this catechism series. Now, I know it sounds intimidating to learn the catechism from a big name as looming and traditional as Pius X, but first realize he was a modern pope and a saint. Secondly, he wrote probably the smallest and easiest catechism that you've ever seen. It's even smaller than the Baltimore Catechism, that book that children learned from in the 1950s. So the CPX series is a way to learn the entire catechism in a very basic way, in a no-spin zone of political agenda or modernist thought that normally takes out the supernatural that we're seeing all around us. The Catechism of Pope St. Pius X kept the supernatural because the Gospels are supernatural. So CPX is going to be pure Catholicism, both the natural side of growing in virtue, which actually starts at the natural level, but is raised to virtue through baptism, and then the supernatural, including the miracles of our faith, including the greatest miracle, which is Christ's resurrection. And this is going to happen without any watering down, uh, but also it's not going to be anything too complex. So you can either sit down with your own catechism three times a week here at YouTube's Padre Peregrino or Census Fidelium, or if you just want to learn the, the uh, catechism on the go, just download the podcast Padre Peregrino and you can learn the whole Catholic faith on the go in one year. So here is the catechism right here. As you can see, it is very small. And therefore, we're only going to do about 10 questions a day times three times a week. So we're just going to do about three pages a week through that whole thing. That catechism is only about 143 pages long. You don't have to buy it, but I suggest you do because you can get it for less than $10 from a Turner Press or other publishers, and I think it's even free on Kindle. Just put into Amazon or Google, Catechism of Pope St. Pius X, 10th being an X. Here's the setup that we're going to do. Every day I'm going to read you 10 questions and answers from the Catechism. That's going to take about 5 minutes. Then after that, I'll give you my own commentary for about 5 minutes on one or two of those questions and answers that Pope St. Pius X gave in his own words. So. Five minutes of Pope's words, and then five minutes of me applying this to the 21st century. I'll always tell you when it switches from the Pope's words to me, by the way. The first five minutes being the Pope question and answers, and then I'll pick a couple of those, and I'll say, this is Father Dave Nick speaking now. Now, I have to say, old school catechisms were written in question and answer. And actually, let me just pick a random, I'll randomly open this book to show you. Question 53. What should we do to have sorrow for our sins? Answer, to have sorrow for our sins, we should ask it of God with our whole heart and excite in it and excite it in ourselves by the thought of the great evil we have done by sinning. So that's just one of the questions right there. Uh, pretty basic. Let me tell you a little bit about the author of this catechism that we're going to be studying. Pope St. Pius X was born in 1853 in Italy as Giuseppe Sarto, or in English, Joseph Sarto. I would say Joe Sardo looks like he could have been a University of Georgia football coach. Very manly, very joyful. Here's a picture of him. He was ordained a priest in 1858. 
He became Pope in 1903 and died as Pope in 1914. He was canonized in 1954 by Pope Pius XII. Now, it's amazing to have a relatively modern catechism without any errors in it. In fact, it was only recently translated to English. The CPX, as I'm calling the Catechism of Pope St. Pius X, is short, simple, clear, and comprehensive, which is the opposite of how most of us learn the Catholic faith in a very complex social justice system with often big German words if you made it past that first level of high school. I remember when I went off to Boston College as a pre-med and theology major, when we were studying Karl Rahner in the majors class, I had no idea what Karl Rahner was saying. In fact, nobody in my class had any idea what Karl Rahner was saying. And that's the idea. Nobody will stay Catholic if it's not clear like the Apostles' teaching. Well, this series is going to be basic enough for a first grader to learn but I guarantee priests listening will learn parts of the Catholic faith they didn't know or were taught wrong in seminary. I read this catechism for the first time last year, nine years into my priesthood, and I learned something probably every three pages. So I learned a lot going through this catechism last year. But most of all, this catechism series is for the blue-collar Catholic who doesn't have time for the constant political spin on the Catholic faith that he always has to hear frequently from the pulpit. Not always, but frequently from the pulpit. The CPX is just going to be the faith Jesus gave to the apostles 20 centuries ago, applied very clearly to our current century. That's why I believe this video series or podcast is so important. With all the misinformation out there on the Catholic faith, even apostasy from the top down, which may have been the third secret of Fatima, I'm going to be giving you the Catholic faith entirely from a modern saint. Not from me, because maybe I would add my own spin zone too. But it's going to be entirely from a modern saint, entirely from a pope in fact, entirely from what Christ gave to the apostles. Truly the no-spin zone of divine revelation. Now, St. Thomas Aquinas taught that the will follows the intellect. That means that your heart is going to follow your brain. So if you want to start doing the right thing, you have to start filling your brain with the right stuff. And that's the point of the CPX series. That means learning the Catholic faith the right way from this start for the rest of your life is super important. Unfortunately for lots of us, that means relearning it. Rewiring that brain is difficult. But this catechism is so simple that we're talking easy mental digestion on the go, not complex liturgical terms that won't make any sense to many of the listeners out there. In fact, it's so easy you could direct Protestants to this series, and I bet they would walk away with a much better Catholic education than most of us did. Again, it's not because of me. It's just because we're going to look at the questions and answers as the catechisms have been for hundreds of years, giving the apostolic faith. No spin zone. So let me just say one more time, it's not because I'm amazing that I'm saying this catechism is amazing. It's just an amazing catechism. It's short, brief, and orthodox. So please join me in giving this whole thing to St. Joseph, since that is the name Giuseppe, uh, Pius X's first name, and since St. Joseph is the guardian of both the interior life and the church. So that applies perfectly to these two-part series, the meditation and the catechesis I'm doing. Again, please place... Uh, all of this in the hands of St. Joseph, and maybe say a prayer for me every day, too. So before signing off, let me recap this series. I'm going to read you 10 questions and answers three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That'll take five minutes. And then I'm going to give you my own commentary for five minutes on one or two of those questions of the day. It's going to come to about a page a day in the Catechism. You can follow along, get your own, free on Kindle, eight bucks on Amazon, or you can just listen on the way. And again, I'm always going to tell you when it switches from the Pope's words to my words by saying, okay, Father Dave Nix here, commenting on that second question, commenting on that third question. Anyway, you can turn it off after the Pope's words or listen to what I have to say as I apply it to the 21st century. So let me just give you the full week of the podcast I'm going to be doing. For three times a week on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, for just about 10 minutes a day, I'll be releasing that Catholic video on Catholic meditation called VLX. VLX is my teaching on how you can meditate like the saints did it, essentially to come to know God through meditation. VLX can also be found on YouTube for the audio plus video version of these, or just your podcast app for simply the audio on the go. Again, just search Padre Peregrino on YouTube or in your podcast app. I'll also number those VLX1, VLX2, VLX3, and so on. Then also three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'll be releasing this series, the CPX. That also can be found on YouTube for the audio plus video version of these, or again, just your podcast app for simply the audio on the go. Just search Padre Pio Grino on YouTube or in your podcast app. 
We'll also start putting these up on Census Fidelium, but we'll see if the Census Fidelium viewers want to see Boring Me six times a week. And if they don't, write Steve and get me off. And the people who like it can stick with Padre Peregrino. So in fact, most of you are probably watching this as subscribers to Census Fidelium. So please subscribe to Padre Peregrino on either YouTube or Apple Podcasts in case Steve and I decide to discontinue this series on Census. So on both my YouTube channel and Padre Peregrino and Census Fidelium, you can find the same playlists called CPX and VLX all week, six times a week. So this is the end of CPX 1, Introduction to the Catechism of Pope St. Pius X. It's here that you can learn the original, traditional, true and apostolic Catholic faith in just one year.